run with it. Come now, just have a little fun with it. See if you got what it takes to come get me. Cause I'm chilling your hood quite comfortably, quite comfortably. Go draw. What's going on, DSG? It's your boy Donna Bradley back at y'all with another video. It's been a little bit of a minute, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was at NPC, had one a hell of a time. Uh, will I make a video talking about it? I can say yes, but I didn't last year. I just kind of enjoyed being there. Um, <laughs> but here we got uh, Ulamas Ulamasama, uh, the most useless superpowers in real life now. <laughs> I can only imagine where this is gonna go. I seen straight up Attack on Titan shit in the thumbnail, and I'm like, I mean, that's not totally useless. Like, bro, you got a job you can get in construction with that, bug? Come with me, but we we, we gonna see <laughs> what what my man's got here. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media. We near that ain't further down. Three, two, one, click. <laughs> Y'all know what this is by now. We're back to talk about some more useless powers because there are still far too many that need to be covered. So enough chit chat, let's get into some of these abilities. For our first All order right. of business, I wanted to spin back on some of the things I said in the second installment of the series. Being uh, wrong is a part those. of life and it can be good. I guess you don't know, I'm relatively new to man's channel as far as like reacting and going. The uh, the other one that was hilarious was the uh, Omni Man beat Krillin shit. That shit had me dying. So like, I, yeah, 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 yeah. To admit when you were wrong on something and i definitely got to correct and revise one of the takes i made in that video about gojo's abilities in that video i said that besides infinity which is essentially the barrier around gojo all of their abilities from the limitless curse technique were practically useless for irl scenarios as we see in jjk a lot of gojo's techniques are typically used in a combat sense however that doesn't mean that the very nature of some of these techniques are completely doo -doo water for ordinary situations <laughs> doo -doo when i saw gojo destroy everything in the surrounding area with the max output blue i thought he could only use blue at max output to destroy things However, you can use lower outputs of blue and use it as a pseudo telekinesis by manipulating the attraction field. So blue in itself is pretty decent at lower outputs, and you'd probably never need it at max output. Bro, like I'm like I don't know why my mind immediately like goes to like construction. Cause when you say real life scenarios, like so when I just think like using them in day to day shit. Like honestly, half these motherfuckers, like if there are powers like that, boy. Like the jobs would go cr there'd be no jobs. <laughs> there'd be no like oh God, yeah no 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 like people probably pissed at that. That'd probably be a thing. But I'm just saying, in that in that sense, yeah, yeah, let's go. Unless you're interested in creating a pull so strong that everything in the vicinity gets concentrated to a single point, essentially acting as a gravitational wrecking ball. Also, a lot of y'all were telling me that he uses blue to teleport, which I genuinely did not know. I kind of just ignored that part of his abilities and thought he just teleported through other means of space manipulation. But hey, man, y'all already know how I feel about teleportation. It's always useful as long as we ignore the scientific implications. But y'all Gojo fans are still gonna have to hear me say that purple and unlimited void are still straight garbage in real life, unless you expect to be in the army. Red is for life. Yeah, he right about that one. Like, you limitless voice. Like, that unless man's is like a straight up serial killer for real because then like that and then anybody who comes to stop you because like, yeah, I don't, there's, there. Well, oh no. Hold on. Euthanasia. He could just, your mind and then just, doot, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, there's a use for everything, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. That purple and unlimited void are still straight garbage in real life unless you expect to be in the army. Red is for lack of a better word, mid. I really am not mid. sure when you'll need the repulsion of red because I haven't seen many other applications in the series besides pure offense. I mean, to move something heavy. Just move something heavy. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's big shit in the way for no reason. You know, imagine like you driving somewhere and like there's a, a something fall in the street. Big ass tree, some shit. I don't know. God damn it, red move that shit. You know what I'm just, I'm just saying. Well, he can he can move it with blue. Like well, he can move it with either one of them. So you know what I'm saying. Or he could purple that bitch out the way. I feel like he just he, he got quite a few applications. I'm, I'm just saying. You don't need the repulsion of red because I haven't seen many other applications in the series besides pure offense. You, know what I'm saying? you can't even say that you need to clear out an object because you clear can... out a flood. Clear, sorry, my voice is still going from NPC, but for like. He, where he had his flooding over there, I, hey. Just use blue for that. Anyways, on to the new powers. The first one up to bat is Titan shifting from attack on Titan. Shifters mm -hmm. can transform into giant humanoids, so naturally they'd be pretty strong. Titan right. shifters mm -hmm. were pretty consistently portrayed to be formidable opponents This is where, I, this is where my construction the thought first dropped. The Ackerman. There's quite a few different Titan shifters in the series. There's the Beast Titan, who typically has some type of animal characteristics. Zeke's Titan looked like a monkey and was able <laughs> to throw rocks and practically anything else like cannonballs. There's the Armor Titan, who has armor. Kind of obvious. We got the Warhammer Titan, 
Titan who can make constructs out of hardened Titan skin. The Jaw Titan has incredible jaw and claw strength. The Female Titan is extremely versatile. The Colossal Titan is massive. The Cart Titan has great mobility despite looking like a crocodile and a human fusion in all the wrong ways. Then for some <laughs> reason, the Attack Titan can look through the memories of future holders of the Attack Titan. I don't know how useful that specific ability would be in real life due to the logistics of actually passing on the Titan. But that's a problem mm -hmm. for later. You also got a pretty decent regeneration factor when you're in human form. And that's all of the positives I really got for this power. Because it's very clear that if you had this ability in real life, you'd quickly realize how worthless it is. First off, there will be zero sense of privacy when turning into a Titan. So no little secrets or anything, everyone will know. You will be a human about the size of a building. So it's kind of hard to miss. And that's not to mention the fact that there's a giant explosion and lightning anytime you transform. If you see a lightning explosion in the middle of a sunny day, you're going to know something odd is happening. Also, <laughs> something that needs to be noted is that... Well, like, that's assuming that they're trying to keep it a secret, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in real life, say, like, like they knew that, like, this was known about you. This was your shit. Obviously, like, say you had a construction job or something, transform before you come to work and watch your step type shit. Um, or, like, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> military, like, a lot of them, like, on a military use for a lot of them would just be, yeah, yeah, obviously, that's where they would do their best work. But I don't know. There could be something going on there. <laughs> Even though the Titans are strong, they are not really like that for real. It's not like they have zero weaknesses. The series has already demonstrated that there was anti-Titan technology that was very effective against the Armored Titan. Our modern society is way more advanced than it is in Attack on Titan. If the country wanted to, they could neutralize you without breaking too much of a sweat. If you yeah. decide to start destroying stuff, you may cause some damage, but you're not going super crazy. Some of the Titan shifters are also just underwhelming in general. Like the Armored Titan is cool and will probably be on the more useful side of the nine Titans. But something like the Colossal Titan is kind of you just sitting there with a lot of hot steam the colossal time is really only good for the explosion take the like i don't know take that nigga with you on like a antarctica expedition keep keep niggas warm there's a use for everybody <laughs> as long as you're okay being a living nuclear warhead. It's not even like you're that oh, big with the Colossal Titan, as you're still significantly shorter than a skyscraper. Something else to keep in mind is that for a Titan to be really effective, some type of combat training might be in order. As we've seen by now, the ability isn't even that great on its own. But there's one thing I haven't even mentioned yet when becoming a Titan Shifter, and it's yeah, the yeah. biggest drawback of the ability. Once you become a Titan Shifter, oh, you only have 13, 13 yeah. years left on your life due to the curse of your mirror. So you yeah, cut down right. your lifespan significantly yeah. when you obtain one of the nine Titans. If you yeah. want to pass it on, you gotta have a another pure titan eat you but i don't know how that'll even work without other titans existing in our world so you'll just die in your 20s or 30s which makes the ability even more worthless than it already is all right yeah he pretty much topped everything off with that one <laughs> ain't nothing i got ain't nothing i got for that <laughs> that's, that's shit fuck you know what i'm saying <laughs> If anything, it's more of a negative. In terms of real life uses, this power could probably help someone with construction or something, yeah, see, but we already right. have machines for that, so you'd probably not be too helpful. You'd only I think it'd be too helpful because you can move faster than the machines. There you go. Also risk blowing up the construction site if you transform near it, and your like body temperature would probably be too hot to work with. Having a power... They Hey, the body temperature ain't just hot like that in general scenarios, except like maybe the, 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 the no, no, not even the, the big, big guy. He, he turn it up. But, um, you know what I'm saying? So if they ain't trying to burn shit, they ain't going to burn shit. But like, yeah, the construction, you do you, that. They, they, there would have to be like a section area, something for you to transform in if they want you to do that. But I see what man's are saying, like having the machines there, you don't got to go through that part. But I, like, I, I just think the Titan can move faster. That's it. Power like this is similar to the Susano problem, where it's difficult to maneuver in any densely populated area. I'm not even going <laughs> to talk about the founding Titan because of the yeah. royal blood requirements. You are basically asking for a death sentence if you want to become a Titan shifter. Bruh. I don't even know if a lot of the shifters in this series really liked being one that much. Long story <laughs> short, it would not translate very well to real life. Next up is Maharaga's adaptation. And I know what the title says, but I can't say that this ability is completely useless. Throughout the series, I like to talk about abilities that are absolute trash for real life, but also powers that get their usefulness overstated. I'd say that Maharaga's mm -hmm. ability falls under this category as it depends on how reckless the user of the ability is with it. I think people are gonna- Yeah, you get somebody who's like Mad Max motherfucker, or just like some evil Knievel ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? That just really, really put their ability to the limit. Like, but I feel like if you did have that ability, well, yeah, they will depend on the person. Yeah, they, 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 they would definitely, you know what I'm saying? Like an adrenaline junkie or something like that. Look at- 
ability falls under this category as it depends on how reckless the user of the ability is with it. I think people are going to believe with an adaptation ability that there's some invincible tank when that's simply not the case. As we all know, Maharaga can adapt to anything, even physical stats. If you're thinking that's a lie, you might not have caught up with the manga. Basically, if Maharaga gets hit with an attack, he starts a process to adapt to said attack. There's a set time limit to this, but if you hit him with the same attack again, the process speeds up. Full adaptation means that Maharaga will be immune to the attack moving forward. And this works for anything, so you'd be able to adapt to diseases or any real health issues, which is very useful to have. But there's a caveat that people always underplay for some reason, and it's the fact that Maharaga needs time to adapt. That's why the main way to beat him is to hit him with an attack hard enough to one shot. One shot. Although yeah. the anime extended it, the fight against the So yeah, the only thing that somebody would really have against you is a nuke at some point, and even if it was that, they better hope to, like, you have not, like, gone through, well, I mean, like, yeah, no, if it, like, completely obliterates your body, like, 100%, period, but uh, if, if you say your body, like, adapted, like, crazy-ass dexterity or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it, they gotta, they gotta get you early, you know what I'm saying? Maharaga just came out and started adapting, whereas you would be growing up like that, adapting through your life just over time, you know what I'm saying, depending on what you're doing. And I feel like if you got adaptation abilities, you gonna test them shits out with some pretty wild shit. So, like, it can still happen, you know what I'm saying, with the nuke shit. But, like, I mean, that's just, that, that is useful, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, if you, like, think about it. If your body can adapt to diseases and things like that, oh, you think they wouldn't be hitting you up for some blood samples? You know what I'm saying? They just have to get it quick because once they, once they prick you, that you ain't gonna be able to do it again. Um, but they could, like, yeah, you could fuck around and save the entire planet. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> All right. And the manga was only a chapter and a half long because Sakuna realized he just needed to hit him with a strong enough attack before he started adapting. So as long as you're not crazy with what you want to adapt to, you'll have a really good ability. However, I know y'all well enough at this point to know some of you guys are still Arkham Asylum patients who will do the wildest thing you can think of with this power. One of y'all are going to jump in front of a truck on the highway then realize you can't adapt to anything if you're already dead. No that part. type of healing factor is going to help you if you just get outright one shot. And that's another thing that needs to be talked about. It's the healing factor of the adaptation. The adaptation will help you heal the injuries but it can only do so much you can get shot once and heal it up fine but if someone immediately dumps an entire clip into you it's still gonna leave you hurting if you're not fully adapted yet this happened during the maharaga versus sukuna fight in the manga where maharaga was crawling on the ground after the domain expansion also the adaptation doesn't always necessarily mean healing every time it'll be something else such as helping you react to an attack better i personally feel that if you want to be reckless and have adaptation it's got to be a rapid adaptation ability like darwin's from x-men his mutant mm -hmm. power would likely serve a more convenient day-to-day purpose next up we got shigaraki's decay quirk which i but yeah no nah, my, my thing with that one i it just goes with the uh the uh, saving saving the entire plant like making disease i think because if you adapted to the disease that the whatever you did that shit's in your blood you know what i'm saying so i feel like that that adaptation shit will probably be the most useful thing as far as an irl situation because that so all right Ooh. I have no idea why anyone would want this power. It's very clear how detrimental his quirk can be when we saw that in his backstory that his quirk accidentally made him murk his entire family. The power is extremely simple and deadly because it just requires you to touch something or someone with your fingers and they disintegrate a dust Infinity War style. As the quirk that gets part. stronger, the decay can begin to spread to other things touching the decaying object, creating a domino effect. So you can accidentally level an entire city with ease if you are not careful. And if you're not careful, but at this point, Sugar Rocky, he could control it. You know what I'm saying? When he was a kid, he couldn't control it. Now, obviously, he still had his issues. Uh, but, like, to be able to control something like that, to be like, y'all gonna be wrong. Dangerous. It's not something that I would want. Don't give me just the thought of it. You know what I'm saying? Because that accident shit, I... Now, I know I say you can control it and this, 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 that, but, like, in the back of my mind, that shit would be crazy to me. Um, but, I mean, like, for demolition purposes and shit like that, oh, this is A1. For demolition, this A1, you know what I mean? But all right, let's go. Object creating a domino effect. So you can accidentally level an entire city with ease if you are not careful. And that's my main problem with the quirk. All it does is destroy things. I can't really find another creative use besides that. I promise you, you Demo. will never, ever find yourself needing this quirk. Maybe if you're Joe Goldberg and need to get rid of some evidence, then this quirk will be your best uh, friend. But no one watching this video is moving like Joe Goldberg in real life. Maybe you can become a trash collector and just start destroying trash. But that even too. then, that could be risky. You probably wouldn't be able to control the spread very well. So one decaying. All right, that part, when you say you probably wouldn't be able to control the spread very well, why would you assume that? Because obviously, yeah, Shigaraki had when he was a kid. I'm not saying you're going to come out the gate being useful, all right? I'm just saying that as you grow up, obviously, as he did, he gained some control over the shit, and he was able to touch people without fucking decaying their ass. Remember how he had his hand around Deku neck? 
but he wasn't decaying him, and he was just like threatening him with it. So you, he got control over what he's doing. And if you at least got that kind of control, you could do like, I, like I said, demolition. I feel like you do 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 amazing in demolition. Banana but peel once that again, slips like, out of the back the, and destroy a couple houses. Still, if we're being real, it's our worst version of overhaul because he can break down and rebuild matter. Shigaraki's quirk is just a derivative of overhaul. Why would you not want overhaul instead of decay? Decay is a yeah, purely yeah. villainous ability. Only evil people are using this ability for real, and hint, hint, <laughs> it's not for good things. And actually, this is a good place to bring this up. In every facet possible, there are a multitude of never ending battles democracy versus communism, lions versus hyenas, Kevin Durant versus hairbrushes. Wow, My never ending crazy. battle is with the comments wow. of this series more specifically the secret villains in them it's like y'all are sleeper agents y'all hear the prospect of getting powers in real life and start commenting some wild stuff <laughs> like what on earth is this guy talking about the pros of world domination then this guy just further proves my point with the kind who's fruit the magma user when you submerge them in water you finna get served papers for property damage and burn them to death what's wrong with you that i'm part. not even coming from a moral standpoint anymore they are going to find out that you are willing to burn people to death and start using force against you the government will easily stop you once they realize that your weakness is being submerged in water which is something they would try to do considering you're generating lava from your body you're that not part. invincible bro everyone that part. in the country's government is going to use everything to catch you that they part. might even pop out the men in black weapons for you yo these are facts and these are the things that half these motherfuckers really don't think about bro like yeah the powers are cool but like in real life shit like you're not a miss you 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 got ability to let you do shit all right okay half the time you can still headshot these motherfuckers because you know what i'm saying a sniper can just get you you know what i mean you can do some cool shit you're not invincible stop <laughs> unless you got the adaptation thing but like i said if a sniper just like one taps you then you yeah <laughs> the country's government is going to use everything to catch you they might even pop out the men in black weapons for you once they the catch you it's up for you. you game over you are never seeing the light of day again that part <sighs> okay i finally got that off before we move on to the next ability if you're new one to join so far you yeah, might even with the maharaga shit they catch you and they just put you ass in the box like unless you i guess you could like bang yourself up against crap to take damage to make yourself like more like like, like i said more dexterity or whatever whatever but like you you be you it would take you a minute to even get to where you could break out and I, they would they would they would see what you was doing and rectify that problem immediately like but all right let's go <sighs> Okay, I finally got that off. Before we move on to the next ability, if you're new and enjoying so far, you might as well subscribe. Anyways, it's time to that talk part. about the strongest man in the world, Whitebeard, and his fruit, the Quake Quake Fruit. This fruit okay. is one of the keys to Whitebeard being such a force in the One Piece verse. The fruit allows the user to create massive shockwaves and earthquakes, and it's as strong as it sounds. This man, Whitebeard, was causing tsunamis and entire islands to shake with the usage of his fruit. Sengoku mm. famously said he could destroy the world with the fruit, showing how strong it can really be. Now, it's important to know that Whitebeard okay. is a pirate that doesn't really have to follow the rules. It doesn't matter if he actually accidentally destroys a couple buildings because he's not paying for it he got a multi-billion dollar bounty already so some extra fines will not hurt him in the slightest you however up. are a regular citizen of society and will need to follow the laws and regulations of our civilization so if you got this fruit it probably would not be the best idea to start throwing out a bunch of quick punches at people pressing you because of all the collateral damage yeah. earthquakes are not some little pushover natural disaster these things are serious and considering the fact that white yeah like yeah your stuff is pretty much specifically war <laughs> like I don't I don't see what else you doing unless like let's say there's a whole town with asbestos <laughs> and they evacuate everybody and you gotta go clean that up. You know what I'm saying? Alright, like you can okay <laughs> you can get that done faster than a wrecking crew. White bear could potentially destroy the planet. You'll probably break the Richter scale with some of your moves. It is simply overkill. Who the heck are you fighting to justify using this fruit for office? Kryptonians? It's far too life-threatening for normal civilians. The fruit can be seen as a threat to friend and foe. If you've played games with a character with ridiculous AoE, that's most of your attacks. You can't even do the whole taking over the world thing very well. The Quake Quake fruit is a paramecia, not a Logia, so you can't be touched. And it's not like the fruit improves your speed or durability. You can just make earthquakes, so the classic lead in your chest is putting you on a t-shirt. Yeah, Probably one out of that every part. 100 scenarios where this fruit will be a net positive for you. Next up, we got curse speech, and it's not too complex of a curse technique to explain. With curse speech, your words are enhanced with curse energy, so listeners are compelled to act based on those words. Shoot yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, theoretically. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god, bro, that be me. Oh, everything I love. Fuck with me if you want to, like. I'm not homicidal, obviously, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't about to do no super villainous shit. But as far as, like, mischievous shit for people who's, like, about to fuck around and find out, oh, God. Shit yourself. Oh, quit, girl, play with me if you want to. Like, 
Oh shit, that's crazy. Now, obviously, like I don't know, like covering covering your ears probably helping shit like that. Uh, once people know what's up with you, but like somebody catch that. <laughs> shit yourself. <laughs> yes, theoretically, you could even do that. Honestly, this power can be abused like crazy with the right or wrong person. But being completely mm -hmm. honest, I always thought this power was kind of mad in the series once you learn the extent of it. I know he's a side character, but Inumaki has barely done anything with this ability. Like, you'll have this one cool moment, but get sidelined. And he gets sidelined because the recoil for this ability is ridiculous. Yeah, different commands require different skill levels. The higher the skill level of the command, the more backlash on the user, aka you, will receive. Why do you think this man Inumaki is always coughing up blood? He can't even use some of the complex commands very much shoot even some of the commands get shrugged off anyways granted it was a special grade curse or a special grade curse user shrugging it off theoretically you can master it as we've never but also uh special yeah because you like you in, in a real life scenario this you there's not just going for what man said about um oh damn was it titans or whatever like this just being a you specific thing you know what i'm saying oh yeah how we're saying there weren't just other titans this is just you so if there's no other cursed energy users it's just you you wouldn't have to worry about that so you could pretty much say whatever and i also feel that uh like obviously it's still gonna have the strain you feel me but um just for every day whatever whatever talking i don't think the commands would be too crazy unless you a crazy mother you know what i'm saying if you was using it like that but let's go was a special grade curse or a special grade curse user shrugging it off theoretically you can master it as we've never seen anyone in the series give someone a crazy command with it but certainly there's a limit to what you can do with it i doubt any of us would be as skilled as sukuna or gojo with jujutsu to actually make the most of it and oh yeah when i said your words are enhanced with cursed energy i truly meant all of your words yeah, so no of more of those things you like to call sentences yeah 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 see that, that'd be that'd be that'd be crazy yeah well, i don't know i don't know about that i don't want that but like So, okay, because he, like you say, he says salmon. So, like, I wonder, though, like, if he says something like, uh, I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? That's not a command. You know, now, I think, like, he keeps his speech the way it is uh, just to be safe. But, yeah, I see what he's talking about, like, when we talk about verbs and shit like this. You know what I mean? Like, you got to definitely be careful about what you say. But I do think there's, like, that wiggle room if you can... <laughs> train yourself to talk like that versus just talking in like food substances but i you'll be forced to speak in food for the rest of your oh okay if he say he's hungry i basically guess he like be commanding himself to be hungry i guess Something like that. Okay. All right. All right. So, all right, all right. Your life or get a device that gives you a voice. It's because with normal words, you can risk inadvertently cursing people with cursed speech. If you try yeah. to have a normal conversation, you might get the other person murked in the process because of the lack of control. So, having this power. Have niggas out there uh, uh, communicating like Kimiko. <laughs> from the boys or in real life means i cough up blood because i either overuse the ability or i do something i'm too weak to do on top of that i can only speak in food ingredients or whatever to avoid cursing people what just so i could troll a couple times i will pass on that <laughs> any day of the week i'd times? rather see someone combust into flames wait wait, wait no, no no i didn't mean that <laughs> Last up is yet another JJK ability, Sakuna Shrine Technique. In my opinion, it's pretty self-explanatory why you would never need something like this in real life. There are three main parts of this ability, mm -hmm. cleave, dismantle, and the fire arrow. Dismantle is the default slash that fires out an invisible slash. You cut mm -hmm. up things, it's pretty simple. Cleave right. is a more unique slash in the fact that it can be adjusted to the durability levels of the enemy to just finish them off in one hit. It's also used while physically touching the opponent. The fire arrow is basically a mini nuke that can destroy city blocks and is made of fire. Again, pretty obvious. These are all right, so <laughs> off the face value, what I had just seen, this nigga would go crazy in the kitchen. Sorry, <laughs> God, think about it. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, he ain't letting loose a fire nuke in the kitchen, but like the chopping shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when it come to prep time, this boy got Batman beat. <laughs> Sorry. Arrow is basically a mini nuke that can destroy city blocks and is made of fire. Again, pretty obvious. These abilities sound pretty broken when reading them on paper until you realize that these are sort of Sakuna techniques, if that makes sense. These abilities only work for Sakuna since he's really good at Jujutsu sorcery, but in the hands of anyone else, they're not as effective. Like, if you gave Nobara a cleave in this mantle, she's not gonna be the strongest in the verse. This same type of logic would likely apply in real life unless you're a prodigy of some sort. So you, my friend, are not gonna be that good with- Well, no, 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 no. I would also, I, I would still also say, that if you grow up with it, you going you you gonna go you you gonna I'm not saying you're gonna be like Sakuna level doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? But you're gonna know what you're doing a little bit. If you grow up, I'm not saying you ain't gonna have some accidents and might end up 
they still might end up unalive in you just because, like, growing up, you just, you ain't getting right. But, like, <laughs> if you get that far, you're going crazy in the kitchen. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Logic would likely apply in real life unless you're a prodigy of some sort. So you, my friend, are not going to be that good with using this technique. The slashes might be like paper cuts or will be uncontrollable. I can't even fathom the amount of training you'd need to make this power really good. Also, the technique suffers the same problem a lot of fictional powers have, and it's the fact that the power is mainly combat focused. At the basic level, mm -hmm. there really aren't many applications of cleaving this mantle besides cutting stuff if you're a chef that's cool but how many hey. of us are really culinary experts even if we i'm sorry bro but if i got a, an ability like that i'm gonna become one like i mean like what the fuck <laughs> you know what i'm saying if i already got this why not use it <laughs> to give you the benefit of having a domain expansion what will you and he would also probably be dope in once again construction for like demolition type shit just saying ever <laughs> use it for the only people who want this power are either the sakuna fans or the super agent super villains i referred to earlier so that's <laughs> another set of powers that i think are kind of eh, to just straight up bad in real life if y'all want another part to this series just tell me in the comments because i don't want to overrun the channel with this type of video with that being said have a great day and peace out all right all right, all right. yo hey hey that was dope when we watched that dope shit here um yeah man's was right <laughs> like i know i was trying to make my case for like uh uh pretty much all of them but like it was <laughs> i could really only come up with like one thing <laughs> so yeah from eh to useless but I every mean, there's a place for everybody <laughs> we're about inclusion but yeah, nah, my man was pissed straight facts in this one, man. That's the take. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there, social media. And I'll catch y'all next one, man. Peace.